Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome and welcome to Weigh In Wednesday. Today, before our weigh in, we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. I am so freaking excited. I have not been to a Trader Joe's in like over 10 years. So I am beyond excited. We are going to Trader Joe's. I asked you guys on Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, make sure you follow me at Sinskernize1380. I asked you guys, what are your staples? And it's funny because a lot of you said dark chocolate almonds, which is actually was on my radar. I was like, Ooh, I hope they have some dark chocolate almonds because that's what I'm looking for. Cause oh my gosh, I love dark, ooh, dark chocolate cashews would be even better. If they have those, then I'm totally getting those. And I know Trader Joe's has really decent prices on their nuts too. So I might, at least they used to 10 years ago. I don't know, I haven't been in forever. So we're just gonna go, we might get some flowers, we might get some meat, we might get some sushi, we might get some fruit, I don't know. But we're gonna go and we're gonna have fun and you guys are coming with me, so let's go. City of mine, how I love, how I the city of mine It never gets me down City of mine How I love how I So I am here and I was just thinking as I was driving here First of all, this is like the first time that I've driven somewhere alone like this In over a year and a half That's growth, man And then I was also thinking about like how like I just feel Oh no, it just feels so good. It's like the city and like there's tons of people around and I'm just like excited. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna go into Trader Joe's and see what they got. City of mine. It never gets me down. Yeah. I was born in the city, I was raised on its edges. My pop work is life when it's complex. I found love in its center. If I could live here forever, think it'd be for the better. I love the weather, even though it's fog 24 7. I love the people. This is city. I met all my best friends, and I want to thank every break. I want to thank every entrance to every building that I step in in this city of mine. Oh, you most my best moments in life. See, I fell in love for the first time. Okay, so that was so much fun. I never have fun shopping, but I always love Trader Joe's and just looking in there and looking at all of the fun things they have to offer. I even left with a list of fun things for me and the kids to go do. So that was really cool. Um, two of the cashiers were really nice and they were talking to me and asking me. Um, this one, one of the cashiers said that she, um, cause he asked, the cashier that was ringing me out asked me where I was from and I said Augusta. And the girl turned around and she was like, oh, Augusta's nice. And I was like, yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, I love it here. It, like, the drive was super nice. I'm sorry, I did not get much footage in there. And I apologize, but y'all, I haven't been in one of those in, like, I haven't been in a Trader Joe's in, like, 10, 15 years. So I was just taking it all in. But yeah. But yeah, we're gonna head on home and I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. I'm so excited for the things that I Starting got. Route. I'm so excited for the things that I got and I'm just really excited to Not show you guys. Right, but this is a really cute area. I'm gonna have to show you the list of places that the people told me to go to too. If you guys, and if you are from Charlotte, you guys can let me know as well. But this is a really nice area and At yeah. The light, use the left two lanes I to to West will. See you guys at home with the Trader Joe's haul. I'm so freaking excited. We were supposed to have pasta tonight, and I think that we did. I got this, like, creamy pasta sauce. But then I also got the orange chicken, which was recommended by so many of you. So I'm like, I kind of want some orange chicken. I kind of want some creamy pasta. So my first rap show at Great American Hall I used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge to goof off And spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want Keek drove us down to Ice Place while we roll up a blunt And me and Jack would get stony, walk around and get lost Don't think I'll ever truly pay back all I was lucky to get Just by walking through the city, you know I'm a small part of this Okay. 
okay so here is everything i got from trader joe's i'm so freaking excited to try all of this stuff okay so i'm gonna start over here i got some shrimp burgers i also saw that they had some salmon burgers so i want to try those next but i don't have much of a freezer as you guys can see um so i don't want to get too much by the way all of this costs me $70.33. Next is this green goddess dressing. I've seen several people talk about this on YouTube channels. It only has 20 calories and two tablespoons. So I'm trying to get more salads in and I figured this would be something good to try. And then just the way that it sounds like lemon juice, chives, basil, garlic. I think that would be a really good um, what's it called? Marinade for some chicken and I'm going to marinade. I'm going to actually grill some chicken, y'all. I'm totally getting out of my comfort zone. I'm grilling chicken this week. Yes, I've never grilled before in my life. Sounds crazy, I know. Okay, then I got one red lady apple because people are always talking about how good they are and I wanted to try it with this chocolate hummus. I actually made some of this before. I think I added chocolate chips and a lot of people were grossed out by it, but it was really freaking good. So I'm going to try this. And the little note by this said, try it with banana chips or apples. So I was like, I'm going to try it with an apple and I'm going to buy me an apple. So I got that. Someone on Instagram told me to get this. So if that was you or if you personally have this, what do you use this for? It sounded really good. It's salt, chili pepper, cheese, chipotle, cumin, or is it cumin? I think people make fun of me when I say that. This would be good. Is this good on popcorn? Like if you make some popcorn and then spray it and have this stick to it, is that what this is good for? It says sprinkle this container and a basic corn cob. Roasted corn, also great on vegetables or meat. Um, but if you have this specifically, let me know what you use this for. I really don't even know. Is it everything but the elote? <laughs> seasoning bread, I, or seasoning blend. I know I got that wrong. But I picked that up. I also picked up some sunflower seeds. Their nuts are always pretty reasonably priced. So I picked those up just to put, I figured that this would go good with, you know, yummy, yummy. Uh, got some of these. I actually usually get these from Publix and they're way more expensive. So I think I saved like $2 getting them here and I'm going to use that in a salad. Today. I think I'm going to make, I guess I'll show you my lunch since this is kind of like a follow me around, follow me along around y'all. I can't talk. So many of you guys told me that this was a must have. I think pretty much everybody that responded to me on Instagram said to do this. So this is the mandarin orange chicken and my kids love it and I looked at this bag and even though it says that there's a five servings in this bag, I was like, yeah, my kids could probably split this in half and have Ava eat this and Control eat this. So I went ahead and I got two bags of those. I saw this and was like, hmm, I'm intrigued. I love corn dogs and I was like turkey corn dogs. So, and it was like 229, I think. But for one of them, you have 150 calories, four and a half grams of fat. So I figured that wasn't bad, especially if you're craving something like that, um, it would be good. And then also to go with the uh, orange chicken, I got this chicken fried rice. Sounded really good. Someone also said this, I love gnocchi. My kids do not like it. They're so picky when it comes to food. So someone said to get the, the gorgonzola gnocchi and I was like, okay, I'm here for it. And this is all mine. So I wonder if I should have this today with a side salad, maybe put some chicken on there for lunch. That sounds really good for lunch. Saw these and I was like, I am intrigued. So these are the sour cream and onion corn puffs and they're pretty good. You have one ounce, which is about 68 pops, 130 calories, four and a half grams of fat. So I figured that would be really good for watching a movie. Y'all, our couch comes in tomorrow. I'm so excited. It still looks like this. So tomorrow is not going to look like that anymore. Got some frozen hash browns. Someone also told me to get these. I usually get these from Walmart, but I've been noticing them have a very strong oily taste lately and I haven't been really liking them too much so hopefully this does not. I see so many people rave about the brown rice in a bag 
And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of brown rice because of the way that it tastes and the way that it cooks. But I usually like it when other people cook for me or cook it for me. Ooh, you know what I just thought? I wish I had some cranberries and cut up some of the apple and put cranberries and apple in this brown rice. That would be so good. I'm gonna have to get some cranberries next time. I'm out somewhere. I actually I could go pick some up. Maybe do that tomorrow for a side dish for dinner. I don't know, let me know what you guys think of that. I got some garbanzo beans. I made this kind of anapasto style salad yesterday for lunch and I was like, do you know what it's missing? It's missing garbanzo beans and I actually don't have any. So I always have garbanzo beans on hand but because of the move, obviously. I didn't and someone also recommended this and this is this is exactly what I was looking for. Um, before you guys even recommended, I was like, I'm going to get dark chocolate covered almonds. Then they also, I also saw that they had dark chocolate covered raisins and I was like, yes. So I got that. This is gonna be for dinner tonight. Creamy tomato basil pasta sauce. I'm really, really excited to try this. And then I got this because I thought it might be good on the shrimp burger. I don't know, let me know, but I also, love fruity salsas like this. So this is a chunky salsa with mango, pineapple, and red jalapeno peppers. Hopefully that doesn't mean that this is hot. So hopefully it's not too bad, but I don't know. Let me know what you think about these two together. And I just love fruity salsa. So that will definitely be good. I have some tortilla chips in the fridge or not in the pantry. And then I just got this little garden vegetable hash because I'm looking to add more vegetables to things like salads and stuff like that. So I was like, this will be perfect. I can just literally take a couple of spoonfuls, add it to my salad and be good to go. So it's got cauliflower, zucchini, bell peppers, fire roasted corn, celery, and yellow onion. So that's everything that I got right there. And then I also told you guys, I left with a list of fun things for me and the kids to do. So yeah, I'm excited. The girl there, she said her boyfriend used to live or her ex-boyfriend lived in Augusta, so she visited a lot. But they definitely said go to Jenny's Ice Cream in South End with the kids, take them there. Um, she talked about a lot of Asian fusion places. Sushi, she was like, do you like sushi? I was like, yes, I'm a, I've been obsessed with it lately, y'all. Um, and then I asked her about some parks and some greenways. She said there are greenways everywhere here. So yeah, I left with a little list of things for me and the kids to do. So I'm excited you guys. I felt so free. I was like on the way back. I could listen to my music as loud as I wanted and the kids weren't all like it's too loud. Like I was like this feels amazing. I'm not gonna lie last week when they went back to school I was devastated. I was so sad. I was like oh my gosh I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself and today y'all I can't with this sweat. Uh, it's a weight loss channel. <laughs> Y'all see me sweat all the time. Let me know in the comments down below, do you guys refrigerate your chocolate? I, there's just something about cold, dark chocolate. I think that that's gonna fall if I leave that there. So here is my delicious salad. I've already tasted it and y'all, it's so freaking good. I added in some of the sunflower seeds. OMG, game changer. I'm gonna start doing that from now on. I, just, I don't know why I did not think to get cranberries, but cranberries, I don't know if it would have been good in here. Yes, it would have been good in here. That would have been so good. The combination of cranberry and sunflower seeds, make it a thing. I'm going to make it a thing. Okay, so I have croutons, sunflower seeds. I used some of this broccoli slaw, and it just has broccoli, carrots, and red cabbage some mozzarella pearls. I use the Green Goddess dressing, um, a half a serving of garbanzo beans. Um, I got some of that, what is it? Garden vegetable hash that I just got, which has cauliflower, zucchini, bell peppers, fire roasted corn, celery, and yellow onion. I put in four ounces of chicken. These are so freaking sweet, you guys. They are so amazing. So I put some of those in. And is that everything? I also put in a serving of this Olive Garden dressing because it needed a little bit more. But yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy this delicious salad. I also have some hard boiled eggs and I was like, hmm, should I? And I was like, there's so, there's so much already in here that I won't. 
but I'm gonna be creating all kinds of salad salads this week because yeah I'm just like on a salad kick it's so freaking hot and humid here lately that ugh, it's like all you want to eat anyways I'm gonna go eat this and I will put the macros up on the screen of what all of this came to. Happy Lay In Wednesday, you guys. So, I weighed in today at 319.8. I am officially out of the 320s, hallelujah. I am down 4.4 pounds from last week and a total of 5.2 pounds since 325 when whenever that was when I weighed in before the move. So yeah, I have just been trying to be as active as possible. I'm trying to get my apartment still together. I mean, it's together, but there's just a lot of loose ends and between working and the kids and trying to get the apartment together, I am so incredibly busy, but y'all, I absolutely love it. And as you saw, I went to Trader Joe's yesterday and I had so much fun. I was like, I can't believe I'm actually having fun grocery shopping, but I don't think that Trader Joe's is grocery shopping. Let me know in the comments down below if you actually go to Trader Joe's on a weekly basis to actually grocery shop or if that is a place that you go to for fun filling things. Let me know because I'm intrigued. I have never lived this close to a Trader Joe's before and I feel like I might visit about, I'm like saying visiting, I think I might go about once a month. By the way, that creamy tomato sauce that I got yesterday, oh my gosh. You are ever near a Trader Joe's, pick it up and thank me later because it was so freaking good. Did I try anything else? I haven't tried the almonds yet. I haven't tried the raisins. I did try the little puffs. They're okay. Some of them are really seasoned very well and those are really good, but the ones that aren't very seasoned are like, eh. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you're having an amazing day. I hope that you are killing your weight loss journey or if it's not the weight loss part of it and it's just the growth part. What did I say today? I said that I want to change the weight loss part of this channel to say weight loss, self-discovery, and internal healing channel and journey because that's exactly what I'm on. And while obviously we are focusing on weight because this is a weigh-in Wednesday, I also wanted to input that Trader Joe's experience in this as well because y'all, that whole experience yesterday was so much internal growth, internal healing, uh, what was the other thing, self-discovery, like all of these things combined in addition to me becoming a better version of me and then also dropping weight because the two go hand in hand and the two are so incredibly important for a true success, successful long-term weight loss journey. Some of us get so caught up in weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss. How much do you weigh? How much did you lose? What'd you do? How'd you do it? Blah, 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 blah. That we don't take the time to work on the inside, the insides and in here, and it has to be done. You are not going to be able to skip that. You're just not. It's not going to happen. So for all of you that are in my comment section, just hush because we don't want to hear all that noise. We don't hear your noise because we, me, am on my own journey and I am just chronicling it for you guys to see. But this is so much more than just how much I weigh. And it's so much more. Trust me, when the internal work, as it continues to get done, this weight is going to continue to fall off. And not to say that it's gonna be any less hard, but there's gonna be days where I'm gonna be like, it's just gonna be like second nature for me to exercise and to eat healthy. Whereas before, when I was internally struggling and I was struggling with myself and I was struggling with my happiness and, and, and all of these things going on in my head thinking that I'm crazy and like all of these things, now that I feel so much more calm, I have the time to, to focus on 
other things I just think it's gonna be all around better and like I'm building it all around me and I know that this move is still incredibly new and me getting to know this city is still so new but there's so much to explore here that I am so incredibly excited about and I still have this whole apartment not the whole entire apartment but I have an apartment to still decorate and get together and put things up on the walls and put blinds up not blinds but curtains and my couch came in today if you guys want to see that it'll be uploaded tomorrow on Miss Green Eyes so you can go see that uh, but yeah I'm so incredibly excited I've been so busy and again usually by this time I've already eaten in a, in a day when in Augusta where I had like not too much going on and I was just always in my head I have already eaten breakfast a snack lunch and a snack so I've already eaten four meals if I were in Augusta but here in Charlotte I've eaten breakfast and lunch and that's it and I haven't been eating as much junk food and all that stuff so trust me when I say it's all going to come off I'm I'm, I'm in this place where I'm really, like, I've done the grieving, and y'all, the grieving's been going on even while I was with that person. It's It's been going on for a really long time. I feel like I can breathe again, and I feel like I can finally become the person that I was meant to be, you know? I just feel different, and again, I know I'm new here, and y'all might be sitting there like, yeah, wait, wait, talk to us again when you've been there for three months. And it might change, I don't know, but I'm going to therapy again. Um, I had my first therapy session today, and her and I, I feel, are really going to get along very good, very well. And you guys can see it. Like, my happiness literally radiates through the camera. So I feel like when I'm happier, it's just easier. It's easier because I'm not eating my feelings. So that will do it for this video. I will see you guys on Monday. But if you guys want to see me before then, make sure you go subscribe to my other channel, Miss Green Eyes. I am vlogging over there, and I will definitely have a video over there tomorrow. And possibly Sunday. I'm shooting for Sunday. We will see if I can get it up. But yeah, I love you guys. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.